Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play. Um, I almost said Okami again. No, it's not Okami. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Link's Awakening for the Switch. So today, last time we went through Dompe's uh, challenge, the first bit of it, and got a secret seashell and a heart piece. Really? Today, we are going to be going around with our new hookshot and picking up all sorts of fun things. This is actually a secret passage and will eventually take you to the cemetery. Really? Right. You can fall into the pit and die. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's see. Good, that got us out of the range of motion. Now, uh, there is a, a way to do this that I did in my... <sighs> really? You can do this without the um the hook shot and i did it in my original playthrough right i screwed that up oh this could be a problem Well, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's try something here. Please let it work. Oh, good. <laughs> right, we're gonna go to Animal Village, which we might as well. Um, if you go up those stairs, though, it takes you out into the cemetery. You're supposed to push that that rock I pushed over. You're supposed to push it down. <sighs> oh well. All right, now we got the shell from, uh, now that we have the um, mystical lens, which is really, they call it a magnifying lens, but really it's the lens of truth. Because you see invisible things. Hey, you can see me? You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. I'll give you this if you promise to keep your mouth shut. Sure. Secret seashell. Yeah, this was actually in the original game. A promise is a promise, okay? Absolutely. Hey, you should head out to the cave at Toronto Shores. Use the magnifying glass there and you'll find someone else like me. Yeah, we've already done that, but thanks. Let's see what I'm at, three minutes? Okay, so at 23, so 48 or so. Right, anyway, um, Zora, thing. Yeah. Marin's not here anymore. I think she's gone back to the village. Oh boy, so much stuff we can do now that we have the hook shot. So much. Including moving on with the plot, but I don't know if we'll do that today. Okay. Boomerang is my favorite non-consumable item, and some of that is absolutely nostalgia. Because in the original Legend of Zelda, which I played a ton as a kid, ha <laughs> ha. Um, let's see. Anyway, in the original Legend of Zelda, you could. Uh, the, the boomerang was like the non-consumable item. Okay, this is how you're supposed to do it. In the original game, you actually come, or in the, in the original LP, I came up here and used a glitch, which is now sort of an ascended glitch, called the bomb arrows. If you press Y and X, not at the same time, but with good timing, you can do that. Of course, that hurts like hell. What you're really supposed to, and you can do that from the other way. 
what you're really supposed to do... Uh, no. There we go. What you're really supposed to do is come back there, throw a bomb... You can die. See if I can get a thing off of you. There we go. Nope. Yeah, I guess they don't always drop them, just sometimes. Okay. What you're supposed to do is throw a bomb from there. And because the bomb arrows were originally a glitch, as I said. You got a piece of heart. Yay! And that fills up our hearts. So we can shoot our sword with power. Yeah, yeah. I did that joke in the last episode. But you might not have seen that. All right. So we are currently at, let's see, three. One, two, three, four, five. So we've gotten 22. 22 heart pieces. That's pretty nice, I gotta say. All right, so our next stop that I can think of is uh, Canalette Castle. There's some stuff there. There's Candlelight Castle, and Seashell Mansion is probably my closest, uh, work. And since I have over 30, we might as well go in. Uh, these guys, I should mention that in the original, that these guys are pig warriors. They're very much based on their Link Between Worlds designs. The Moblins are not. There weren't Moblins in Link Between Worlds, as near as I can remember. Yep. 30. And we get... A chamber stone. Yeah. What are we at? 34. All right. I'm ignoring all of you. And we go this way. Pardon me. I guess I didn't really need to, but... Yeah. Yep. So if we come over here... We get... Yeah. A secret seashell. That takes us to 35. Five more! And we can get that thing that I want. Unfortunately, the only way out of here is either to swim... Or warp. I'm gonna warp. Because there's another thing that we can get. I'm going this way. This is another important thing that we can get with... I'm also gonna get my notes. Which I really should have been keeping with me. Much more... Uh, okay. <sighs> Glad I landed somewhere that, you know, I wasn't immediately gonna get murdered. Uh, right. So. Let's see here. If and we come this way, ooh, money. I mean, like I need it. Well, actually I do, because there's probably going to be like a ton of me just being bad at the trendy game. You know, I'm not bothering. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now that we have this, we can do... Meet the signpost maze. Start here, go this way. Okay, so we head down, come to this signpost, go this way. Follow along. Go this way. Bye, Heiji. Go this way. Okay. Yeah, you can pick up boxes. Go this way. Okay. And so we're going back. Now, you need to be careful because if you check the wrong sign, you have to start all over again, which isn't fun. 
and like, yeah, go this way. The it will the sign that you have to check will be in line with the previous sign, not with you. Down, go this way. Go this way. Ha. Go this way. One of the things about, yep, go this way. One of the things about the signpost maze is that it is, um, go this way. And it will always be the first sign you come to. Go this way. Not this one. You just ran into it, but it should be this one. Go this way. Yeah, see? That one, that can get you into trouble because you run into that one sign. Go this way. Great, you did it! Your reward is this way! And now we go down the stairs. You look very familiar. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Wanna hang out and listen to his jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. I forgot, we do need this. I'll pay. Yeah, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Yeah, this is a thing. been a wonderful audience. No encores. Croak. <laughs> you need this to beat the game. Yeah. You've learned the frog. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was that was just that. And it's it's you're a dick. <sighs> okay. So now that we have done that, we don't have to deal with that again, but ooh, dang it. Y'all can die. Painfully. So let's see, did I get any heart, have I gotten any heart pieces yet? Can I get any heart pieces yet? Not yet. Let's see. Oh, I got that one. All right. Sorry, I'm just sort of looking around for things that we can do. Uh, I think our next, pardon me. So yeah, our next is the shrine. I'm not, I'm not gonna, okay, you know what, I've got a ton of money, well, uh, not as much as I had, but we're gonna do one attempt at the trendy game. You can buy a chamber stone from the store, by the way, I might do that if I have nothing else to spend my money on. Yeah, we've been seeing those guys down by the pothole maze since, like, the beginning of the game, this is the first time we fought them. All right, I still have not actually, um, one play, play. Okay. All right, so it's. Okay, so. Let's see if I can figure this out. X, good, okay. Now A will move it right. If I recall, what I need to do is... Ooh, nope, I did that entirely. It, I did it the wrong way. It's supposed to be the other 
timing. I'm gonna try that one more time and do it with the correct, but I think it's the correct timing. Why am, why do I keep doing this crap? Mostly because, like I said, to get that other heart piece, not to mention the other seashell. Yeah, why? Um, I need to f clear out that figure. Okay. So it's start moving when he is at his... Oh, so close. All right. One more time and I think I might have it. I am so bad at this, but I actually have done it. <laughs> yep. And after this, I will quit. So. Good. So it's... So I need to wait when you are just a little. Well, I got him. He might fall out. I hope he doesn't. Please don't. Actually, the Goomba is least likely of the figurines to fall out. Uh, no. Just give me a holler whenever the mood strikes you to play. So we'll pick up the Goomba. I'll place him. You got a Goomba figure. Try to resist the urge to jump on it. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to see what's in here. A bomb. Okay. We'll come back later. Uh, so yeah, Goomba. Who do we know in this town who has a strange relationship with mushrooms? It says Goomba. Place the Goomba figure here. Place it. It's a Goomba figure. Its maker put a lot of love into sculpting the eyebrows. Okay, sure. All right, I got about eight minutes left. Let's see. So we're gonna head toward the shrine. Okay, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can get. I don't think so. Like I said, we got the, we did the, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, so, all right. I am, oh. Seashell Mansion is actually closer. There is a way to get across there without the underpass. You can die. Yeah, one thing that this game did not uh, reproduce from the original. In the original Link's Awakening, uh, if you, you, if you held up your shield, you were totally, um, word, invincible. I'm just ignoring all of you because screw you all. I'm not fond of you either. Hoot, there are two shrines, one to the north, the other to the south. First, head south, where ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Oh, I love the frozen Zora. That's kind of great. Okay, yeah, that's something that didn't happen in the original, obviously. Things didn't freeze. Because they didn't have that kind of processing power. Okay, can I get there? Can I get there? I can get there. And yes, a secret seashell. I am at 36, good. Good to know. Four more. 
I will probably get m more. I mean, I'm at least gonna try to get some of the extras. The windfish slumbers long, the hero's life gone. In other words, we can't just wait for the windfish to wake up naturally. Oh no. So, if you come this way... Oop. Is there any way to kill that thing? I mean, I think that, I think you have to use arrows. But you can certainly stun him. Okay, no, nope, not that way. You can move them. Um, okay. Okay. And now I'm having a little trouble finding my way through here because of course I am. Because I'm an idiot, apparently. No. That's, that's okay. I'm, this is, okay. Yeah, this is a bit of a thing, isn't it? Well, okay, no, that's not it. Okay, you're, you're not actually. Some of these guys aren't actually, like, movable. Armos, good to know. Ah, uh, well, let's, um, I don't think killing them will do any good, but let's, uh, try it. Okay, well, it works. Right. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to do whatever I can. All right. I know you. All right. Kill you. Good. Kill you. Try not to use too many arrows. Try not to use too many arrows, she says, shooting like three to kill one Armos. Meh. Better. All right. Oh, pff. I didn't realize. Okay, that's just sad. Truly sad. And truly outrageous. The nice thing is that if you kill them, you do get the arrow back. Okay, I believe it is this Armos. Yes! I knew there was one of these jerks was hiding. A secret seashell! Three more. That's pretty nice. So we came up here. Ignoring you. Don't believe there's actually anything else in here. Yeah, and you don't have to kill these guys necessarily. Um, I like killing that guy because, well, uh, just trying to get through. Ah, that was neat. Okay, so we got a couple arrows. Would anyone like to guess what we need to do in here?
Okay, shield's gone. Two, good. There we go. Yeah, that guy's not... <laughs> not as difficult as he might appear to be. And we get... The face key. Kind of looks like Yuga, doesn't it? Hmm. Can't see anything here, so... Ooh! A mural. To the finder. The Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away. You should know the truth. What? Illusion? That is a really nice remix of Ballad of the Windfish. Hoot, I see you have read the relief. While it does say that the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the windfish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will discover the answer. Yeah, it's... I, like I said, this is basically a giant it was his sled moment. Most people do know about... Jerk. The, the, this is in fact the dream of the windfish. Well, that was not intended. I don't have many arrows, but... That guy I have to kill just to get past, so... Other guys like this one... Yeah, that guy I can... I don't actually have to go that way, do I? Nope. Ah, yeah. Um. Oh, there you are. Yeah, the, these guys, you can, the nice thing is that really you can just kill the Armos, or not kill the Armos, just throw them out of your way. We're out. And let's see. On this note, I believe I'm going to come up here to this uh, owl statue and we're going to save it. No. <laughs> we're going to save it. Yeah. So, yep, Shrine Waterfall, save. Thank you. We're going to call it here. And in the next episode, we will continue on to the next uh, word. <laughs> We will continue on to the next dungeon, the Fae Shrine. Thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Link's Awakening for the Switch, and I will see you next time. Have a good evening. Goodbye.